If you haven't heard, the Pantone license with Adobe has changed significantly so that when you go into InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, and you're looking for the Pantone colors, most likely your colors might be missing. Now, not all of them were taken away, but about 15,000 of them were, so it's likely that you might have been affected or maybe some of the work that you do for clients has been affected. I've been getting a lot of emails on people that are just confused, not sure what to do. And I have two clients that use Pantone colors in the documents that I created for them. So let's talk today because I don't want you to panic first of all. And two, I believe I have some alternate solutions for you that are going to work so that you are no longer Pantone dependent. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday or just randomly like today because I've gotten so many emails. So on August 12th, Adobe made an announcement that their license with Pantone had changed and you will no longer be able to access those swatches inside the color palettes in those tools. Now, if you're like me, I really didn't see that notice until it popped up in my app just a few days ago. So I would have missed the update. So what happened is the Adobe sent out the announcement on the 12th to, I guess, just their blog. I didn't get anything in email or any, I didn't see any notifications elsewhere. And if you had upgraded or updated your applications, after on August 16th or after, then the swatches were taken away. So if you had not uh, done the update and declined it, you would still have had the Pantone swatches. But if you're like me, you didn't see the update. So you just went ahead and hit the update button and it was too late by the time you got the notification around today, which is like August 29th. So what should you do? One, do not panic. It's not a big deal. Um, there are still some CMYK colors on there, so yours may not have been affected. So how do you figure that out? Go in there and see if your swatches are in there. And the second step that you wanna do is you wanna see if your clients care, if you were doing client work, or you need to reach out to your printer because Pantone really only makes a difference if you are sending your documents to a physical printer to get actual like paper copies made. Otherwise, the printables and anything else, digital in my opinion, doesn't really matter because it gets converted over to RGB depending on what computer or tablet or phone that somebody is using to view your final product. Now, once you contact your client or your printer, here's what I would do for step three. Find the equivalent color in CMYK or find the equivalent color in RGB. More than likely, it's gonna be very similar or almost the same, and no one's going to really notice to the human eye. So all you have to do is put it into Photoshop, Illustrate, any of those tools, use the eyedrop picker for color and just look at that hex code and then change everything over from a Pantone color over to that RGB hex code and see how it looks. Then step four is to send that off to your printer. Just send it off, see what the sample looks like. Um, it's possible it will be slightly varied, but only if you do like a super, super detailed study with a magnifying glass. And even then you may not be able to tell the difference. So if that is the case, then just switch over and it's not a big deal. Now, step number five, in case all else fails and you know it's just not working, one, you could always tell your client, and I know people don't want to do this, but you you can let them know that you can't do that, right? You either, it's just not available in the app or you can ask the client to pay the license fee, which is only $59.99 for the whole year uh, for you to have that Pantone color on InDesign, Illustrator or whatever it is. Alternatively, you could just find a new printer. If the new printer uh, colors don't look right or they refuse to do anything but Pantone, I mean, I've never heard of that, but uh, then just find a new printer, right? Uh, printing, I tell this to people all the time, I could same, send this same exact file, even though it says Pantone, like a very specific color. If I send it to one printer, depending on the humidity inside of where he's printing, the type of paper, the quality, the status of the ink or the printing machine, that they're using, it will look totally different than if I sent the exact same job to somebody else uh, with all the same specs. So find some other printers and do some tests there as well. So that's something else you can do. Now, 
if all else fails, the client wants to pay or you just decide you want to stick with those um, Pantone colors, then what you need to do is two things. One, just download the plugin. It's free, it's from Adobe. You just download it, reboot your system, and it works just fine. Now to access those Pantone colors, you will actually need to buy a license from Pantone, which as I mentioned is, I think it's $8 a month, or you can pay annually and save with the 60. Obviously, if you are committed and that's what you're gonna do, go ahead and do it. The link that they send you to buy a Pantone license, keep in mind, as soon as you see that video, it was made by Pantone. So it's very like, we're so great, our colors are so wonderful, you need this, it's so perfect. It's a cute video, but you don't need it. Like, I'm just telling you right now, if you are using Pantone um, for whatever reason, because of this new licensing agreement, to make your life easier for the future and any other products that you create, I would just get off of Pantone completely. Now, for Adobe InDesign, there are two caveats. So one is if you have an image that used Pantone colors, when you open it up in Adobe InDesign, now that it's been updated, I'm assuming you hit the update button for the August 16th, but maybe you didn't, um, your photos will look black and white. They'll be like black, white, grayscale, or whatever, because it doesn't have those photo, those colors to pull from. If you have a swatch um, that used it, I believe it says it will function as before, regardless of whether or not you update the software. However, I'm not sure I really understand that because I would think that even though it has the swatches um, inside of there, I don't know if it will keep them depending on how the license is written or if they make some changes. But in theory, you know how when you open up any of my files and you can see all of the swatch colors inside of there that I've used, they're just saying if you open an older file that used a Pantone color, you will, in theory, still see all those Pantone swatch colors because the swatches are actually saved with your Adobe InDesign file. Again, to add a new Pantone color inside of Adobe InDesign is not possible without the license or if it's already included in one of the Pantone colors that are remaining. But if you have a file, an older file that already incorporated or used one of those Pantone colors and you, you added it to your swatch, then it should still be there. So let's just recap that really quick. First is don't panic. And the second one is check your files, reach out to your clients and also check what the uh, with your printers and see if there is an alternate that you could use for RGB or CMYK. Okay, step three is to find out what that RGB hex code number is. That's what I would switch to. Even things I send to printers now, I send it with RGB, even though I know it's going to be printed on paper and everything turns out just fine. Um, however, I recognize that some people and their brand colors are very specific and they're very... Um, uh, they don't want to make any deviations or change even slightly. Uh, so I get that. And then the fourth thing is to test it. Just test your RGB. It's possible, again, even with your client, they might say they're like really like stuck on that for certain Pantone color, but when you show it to them, they might not even notice the difference or even care. Um, the next thing to do is look for a new printer or tell your client they can pay for the license or look for somebody else if you don't wanna keep doing all that work and have that uh, have to purchase that license. And then number six is to simply go ahead and download the plugin and pay for a license to use those Pantone colors. All right, I hope that was helpful. And again, remember the number one thing is not to panic and find an alternate solution. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I personally am not going to be installing the plugin or paying for a Pantone license. I am switching over to RGB and I've already checked with the two clients that use the Pantone color and they are fine with that too. Um, the samples turned out okay and it really wasn't a big deal. So hope that was helpful and I will talk to everyone later. Bye.